Hey guys, welcome back. I am excited to talk to you guys today and review the Cirque Colors Vice Collection for 2023. Every year I like to, well, I think this is the second year I've picked up the whole entire Cirque Colors Vice Collection. In the past, I've only picked up a few colors, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do that every year for you guys for their Vice Collection every year because I love Cirque Colors. They do such a good job with their formulas and their bright colors and their neon colors, and they're so fun to wear. And so I wanted to review them for you guys these collections are a limited edition so when they're gone they're gone and they go fast once in a while they'll have I think people vote to bring back some old favorites and I think that happened with maybe a few shades last year but you're never sure if they are or not so if, I would just suggest if you do like these then I would get them <laughs> but hopefully this review will help you decide that. These are available on the Cirque Colors website. You can also get them at Beyond Polish where you can use my code GOLARI10 for a discount and they're $12.50 listed on there. Now I originally thought you have to buy them as a set, but you don't. You can buy them individually there. You might just have to look them up by the name. In the description below, I will put the link for the entire set and then if you want to look at colors individually, you'll just have to type them in. So make notes on something of names of the ones that you want and there's a few in here that I can show you that you will probably really want. <laughs> At least I loved them. Okay, so let's get into the review here. There's six creams in this collection. We have, I think like I would say, four really bright neons and then two bright colors. Before we get started, I'm going to talk about, as always, what's on my nails. I am wearing this light pale yellow. I love it so much. And that is for my latest review for the Love by Essie Colors. There, that line, and it's this one right here, and it's called On the Brighter Side. And I love love these pale yellows. I'm excited to wear them. I love to wear them in spring and actually they're going to be fun in summer too and I think it goes really fun with this bright shirt. So love a pale yellow. I feel like when a yellow is pale it's a little bit more neutral and so I love this. I feel like you can wear it with basically anything. And then I'm still loving these Maracuja Juicy Lip Lumps by Tarte and this is the one, the peachy beige one and I'll put a link to that down below as well. I love them so much. I've just been using them all the time. <laughs> Okay, let's get into the colors. I'm gonna start out here with Headness. This is beautiful bright yellow. It's a very bright neonish sunny yellow. So it's quite warm. This one does have a matte satin finish and the few of these that were that finish I did apply top coat on top. I think I might have taken a few pictures with them dried down a little bit satin. A lot of neon polishes do have that matte satin finish. The format on this one's really good too. I find with yellow you're gonna have to do three coats and it's true with this one as well. You're gonna have to do three coats. It can be a little bit patchy. It's tricky to do a yellow and a neon yellow to make it look super opaque and it's just gonna take a little bit of patience. So if you're like like these colors then you'll just have to deal with that. But the format on these stay really nice. I've noticed some of my Orly and China Glaze that are these yellow and or like neon green shades. The formula gets really gross and kind of clumps and sticks together and my Cirque Colors ones have stayed really nice and their formulas are just a little bit better than those. So it's just a matter of wanting to deal with that honestly. But I think this one's fun. I do tend to lean more towards green leaning or cooler toned yellows and so there's some that have been released lately that I like a little bit more. But this one's fun and bright and sunny and warm and I think a lot of you are going to like it. Let's look at those comparisons that I have. So I compared it to OPI Stay It All Bright and that's kind of OPI's neon. So you can see it's not super bright but I do love the color tone of that one. And that one's more green leaning like I mentioned and that's from their new summer collection. And then Orly Road Trippin', man the format on this one's terrible. <laughs> But I put this up here anyway. I Even if I put thinner in it, it's still kind of clumpy and that one's more green. And man, that one just went downhill pretty quickly. And then Essie Sunshine Be Mine is a sunny yellow that's not neon and I just wanted to, you to see how warm that is compared. So you get an idea of how this one sits on that color spectrum. So I thought this one is very fun. I probably won't reach for it just because I lean toward different tones, but it's got a great formula. Then I love this next one. This is Rumor Mill and this one's so fun and it's not at all showing up. <laughs> here what it actually is in real life and hopefully you can get a true look of what that is in my life swatch. These neons are so hard and especially orange neons are really hard. It's basically the same color as my shirt. Yeah maybe a little bit more orange and that's the thing I found out about this one is it's a little bit more orange leaning than some of the other ones that I have but it does have a little bit of pink so it looks a little bit coral and it's just so fun and unique to anything that I have and the formula is really great on this one. It's going to build up nicely in two coats and it's just a nice 
nice unusual color that I'll definitely be reaching for this summer and I think it'll be so pretty on toes but let's get into the comparisons that I have for it so you can see where it kind of sits but like I said I have nothing exact as it okay so I compared it to flip flop fantasy and that one's more corally and then none of your risky business and that one's more of a true orange and then orly artificial orange is more of a red orange so you can see that this one's a little bit different I know Essie probably has this shade that's maybe a little bit closer to this but this one's really neon and none of those Essies are like super neon so that's what makes this one really special I love this one I think this is a must-have for sure if you like orange and neon but I like that this orange has just a hint of pink then we have shopaholic and this one's so fun too I love their neon pinks I have quite a few and I'm sure you guys are gonna be curious to see how this compares to Valley of the Dolls this one is a little bit warmer than that and a little bit warmer than some of the other new releases that OPI has as well and I'll show you that in a minute but the formula on this one is so great it's going to be opaque in two lovely glossy coats this one does have more of a glossy finish if I remember correctly it's not that satin matte finish the formula is just beautiful and it's bright it's the formula is a little bit better than those OPI shades but I do like those OPI shades because you'll see here in my comparison that they are a little bit cooler you can see here compared to Valley of the Dolls that one's more cooler toned and I quit my day job is closer to Valley of the Dolls. That one's probably the closest to that. And then Make Outside is the coolest out of all of them. So you can see here that Shopaholic is just a touch warmer, but I wanted to mention that it's still a little bit cool. I don't know, it's a very interesting color. So here is a really warm color from the LPI Nature Strong line, and this one's called Big Bloom Energy. And this is like a really warm, hot pink. So it's still a little bit cooler, but just a touch warmer than Valley of the Dolls and those OPI shades that were released that I love. Even though those OPI shades have a formula that's a little bit trickier, I love those colors because I definitely think they're a little bit unique. So this one's a little bit warmer and a little bit hot for summer. Hot girl summer. Okay, new outfit. <laughs> new day, new nail polish. Uh, this is from the new Vintage Vanity collection that I'm going to be reviewing soon and I'll put a link to it and then here are my comparisons for this green one because in my original view I mixed these up. Anyway, so this is the green one in the collection. It's cream and it's the initial C-R-E-A-M. I love this one. I like it a little bit better than Cushy I think because I'm more into the more pastel neons right now and that's exactly what this is and I love it because it's more cool toned. This is a great one. It has a fantastic formula. It's so close to two coats but you probably will have to do three on this one I just really love lime green <laughs> in the summer last year I was really into kind of lime green but more yellow leaning I really loved tropic like it's hot or maybe that was a couple years ago but love them and this one has a fantastic formula just like all these other Cirque colors okay so let's get into those comparisons I had pulled in cushy on accident and reviewed it in this collection but that one was from last year but anyway I compared it to electric daisy that was from a few years ago and that one is definitely more yellow and then once a witch always a witch which is also pretty close to tropic like it's hot that one is just a little bit less pastel <laughs> But it is kind of a similar tone, maybe a little bit more yellow. So I do like the cool tonedness of cream. And then Cushy, the one I accidentally threw in originally was from last year. And I should have remembered that because the name was familiar and the name cream was not familiar to me. And I just need to double check and be more careful. But that one is definitely more of a darker lime green. That one's super fun too. So I definitely love this one because it is a little bit different and more cooler toned. And I'm really into the pastel neons right now. And the formula is so good on this one. So I would say definitely get this one and then we have klepto this lavender shade and there's been quite a few colors like this so I have some comparisons for you but the formula on this one is so nice it's nice and glossy opaque in two coats it's probably really close to one if I remember correctly let's see yeah I bet it's really close to one but I felt like when it dried down I definitely needed two but I like to do two anyway as I always say I love this shade but there has been a lot of variations of this shade and I don't want to get tired of it <laughs> But this is a, probably a good shade for Cirque colors to have, but let's compare it to other brands that I have that are similar to this one. So In the Universe is more pink, but it's very close. And I love that one. That was from the Essie Spring Collection this year. And then D&D &D Pixie. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that they sent me like a huge load of polish. I think I'm gonna do a live this week showing all the colors that I got. Um, and then I'll be doing some swatching of them on some reels on Instagram. But that one's also a little bit more pink. Uh, it's 
closer to in the universe, um, but those are kind of the same idea. And then OPI Achievement Unlocked is closest, but slightly muted. I wanted you to see that. So not super unique, a little bit different. I mean, a lot of lines have colors like this and they're all slightly different tones. This one does have a little bit of a brightness to it, which is fun, but it's not neon. But um, if you don't have a color like this, this is a good one to get, or you can pick up one that's similar that's maybe not as expensive, because I know this one's a little bit more than some in other brands. And Game Over, <laughs> that's the name of this one, and I actually love that name because this polish is just pow. Wow, it is so beautiful. It's just cherry red with a hint of pink, and it is a neon, and it is beautiful. It's got a nice glossy formula. It's going to be opaque in two coats. It builds up so nicely. Is it curly? I think it is slightly curly, but maybe it's just glossy, so I feel like it is a little bit, but it just builds up so nicely, and it's neon and so fun. <laughs> I love these pinky reds. So last year they came out with a polish called Pyro and I love that one too, but that one's more orange and I definitely think I like this one better. So I feel like this is the one to pick up from this collection, but, but I don't have any colors like this in my collection. So I think that's why I like it so much because it's definitely unique to me. But let's look at those comparisons here. So I compared it to Pool Party from China Glaze. China Glaze has quite a few shades like this, but they're definitely kind of more pinky purple. Um, and these ones that I have here are a little bit more orange but they're the closest that I could find to anything that I have and there you can see Pyro and Life's a Beach are both more orange but this one has just a little bit of coolness to it because it has a little bit of pink so it's not so fiery but it's like a bright neon cherry red and I love it so much I feel like you definitely need this one. Let's talk about favorites here. I kept going back and forth about adding the pink in here, but I think I am going to add it just because it is slightly warmer than some other ones that I have. So we're going to add that one and then I'm going to add these other ones too. These are my favorites here. Shopaholic, the pink, and then we have Rumor Wheel, which is this orange color. And then we have Game Over, which is my favorite from the collection. Definitely a standout for me. And then this pastel Coolini green cream. Love these. I didn't include the purple or the yellow just because I don't typically wear yellow and I have quite a few colors in that purple shades. But these are so good. I'll definitely be wearing them this summer. Let me know what you're gonna be wearing this summer, even if it's not from this brand. Are there other collections that you're loving right now? Let me know. Um, there haven't been a ton of standouts for summer so far, so I'm really excited about this collection just because I really crave those bright colors during summer. I will put the link down below. These are available at Beyond Polish. Like I said, you can get them as a set or individually. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for joining me again. Sorry I had to fix this video, but hopefully you won't even be able to tell when you watch this. So uh, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.